So while I'm on tour in places like here in South Florida, I always love to take some time and check out some of the reptile shops in the area. And this one, Cold-Blooded Kingdom, is a brand new reptile shop down here in South Florida. Not only is it brand new, but it is really an awesome reptile shop. So I'm gonna go in and meet with Josh, the owner, and he's gonna give us a tour of South Florida's brand new reptile shop. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. And this is Josh, the owner of Cold-Blooded Kingdom. So how did all this start? Yeah, so I've been into reptiles my entire life and I was a huge uh, ball python breeder for many years. I uh, supplied a ton of stores in South Florida and all over the country and Europe and all over the place. And basically um, I sold my business and this store was previously known as the Jungle Florida. I came in, I thought I could make something of it and I decided to take it over and uh, there you go, Cold-Blooded Kingdom. We've got some of the best animals you'll find, the best crew, and um, yeah, we've just put our all into the store, so we hope you enjoy it. Excellent, and so how, uh, how long ago did you open? So I purchased the store in April of 2021, so not too long ago. So um, what is that, six months ago? Yeah, like six that? months ago, we had a major renovation here from top to bottom. All new caging, new floors, knew everything you know walking through the shop I see that yeah. you have not just the pet store staples but you have some really incredible reptiles in here and that one just caught my eye the Europlatus we got to see this Absolutely. one Absolutely, yeah definitely um, this is a uh, pair of Europlatus they're really cool um, this is Madison hello, hello. Madison hello. she works here with <laughs> us at uh, cold-blooded kingdom um, everyone that works here absolutely loves animals. Uh, the animals come first, which I find is not necessarily um, the key staple in a lot of other shops. But uh, I'll be honest, there are a few animals in the store that uh, I would rather not sell. <laughs> and this pair is definitely one of them. Uh, these guys are incredible. Yeah, they are. Look at that. Oh yeah, look at those eyes. Obviously, they come alive at night. And you know when the lights are off in the store, these guys are lit up and ready to roll. They're really cool. Some of my favorites. So now these are the leaf tails from Madagascar. There's also leaf tails native to uh, Australia, but they don't get this big. Even the no, biggest big. species in Australia doesn't get nearly as big as these guys. Not at all. And these guys are so cool. Whoop. Nice <laughs> catch. Not bad. You got to be on your toes with these guys. Yeah, you for do. Sure. But they're awesome. So there you go, the giant leaf tail gecko. Fantastic. Yeah. All right, so let's move over to these really incredible cages. One of the things that I really love about this reptile shop is the cage design. You don't just have a bunch of vision cages with the animal yeah. in it, with the bare necessity for the animal. Absolutely. You have really designed these enclosures to be really aesthetic. Of course. Which yeah. is really cool for a reptile shop. Definitely. I think the most important thing is, is um, we want to make sure that the animals are comfortable here. We're not so much, we don't have a store here so that it's for, you know, for you to be able to see the animal in a barren cage or anything like that. Because ultimately at the end of the day, yeah, it's, it's about them. Absolutely. All right. So Madison, you have one of the coolest snakes over here. That is a Central American vine snake. And man, is it a beauty. We got to take him out and take a look. Oh man, look at this beauty. So the one thing about vine snakes is that they're lizard eaters, but if you look, their tongue is also bright green. So, you know, as far as the snake being venomous, it's mildly venomous. Mildly venomous. And so, nothing like your cobra, nothing absolutely. like your, you know, these guys are up there with like hog noses, if you know, you know, familiar of course with hog noses, same type of thing mildly rear fanged with their venom. That's exactly right. You probably won't even get a reaction unless you're unless allergic. Unless you're allergic to something like bees, wasps, things like that, you know. Exactly. There have been plenty of occasions where people have been bit with nothing happening. All right, so right down here where Carlos is here, uh, we have frilled dragons, but these are 
what makes these frilled dragons awesome is that in our trade, mm -hmm. we get the frilled dragons normally from New Guinea. Correct. These yes. are actually Australian. These are cool things about these is they frill up actually a lot more than the guineas. But here um, is a guinea right here. That Madison, and Madison has a guinea over here to show in comparison. Yeah, <laughs> definitely the Australian frills are the highlight uh, this month. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah. And not only that, but the Australian uh, frilled dragons will color up as adults. They'll yes. get that really nice orange to them. And they'll get a lot larger. And a lot larger. And yeah. the New Guineas really kind of stay, you know, that kind of mottled color like that. Yes, exactly. So the Australian frills are definitely uh, the most desirable. So on this side of the shop, you have all the dry goods, but yes. you move over here and you have some of the coolest monitors out there. Absolutely. Look at this guy. It's a blue tree monitor of Varanus macari, which is uh, the largest species of the tree monitor. The cool thing about the magic blues, as they call them, is um, obviously they do get uh, the largest of the species. We have yellows that I, that I breed. We also have the greens, which is the Varanus brasinus. But the cool thing about the blues is they do share the island Batanta with one other species of monitor, which we also have in the store, which we'll show you, which is the uh, the crocodile monitor. Yeah. Which is really cool. Obviously the holy grail of, of monitors, unless you talk about parentheses, which we <laughs> right. can't get right, here. Right, right. But a few people do have them. But anyways, uh, yeah, these are the Magic Blues. I absolutely love them. Each one of these tree monitors is so unique because you really have to dial it down and learn what each of them like because they, they have such a varied diet, you know? Right. Some prefer roaches, some quails, squid even we fed yesterday. So, yeah, and they're insectivores, but they also, you know, will dabble in uh, rats and mice and, and various other things. So we take a lot of time with our animals here, and uh, these are definitely my personal favorites to work with now. For sure. For sure. Moving down this aisle here, we've got some really amazing green tree pythons and emerald tree boas over here. Up top, we have a, a lot of our arboreal species of pythons which are really cool. Obviously, chondros come from Papua New Guinea. Uh, this is a biak, and then this one here is a sarong, which you're gonna get the really rich blue on the yep. sarong. Uh, obviously, chondros hatch out. Uh, the neonates are either gonna be uh, red or yellow, and as they get older, they'll develop some green with different patterns. And then as you make your way to the right, we have our emerald tree boa wall, which these guys are awesome. Obviously, some of the biggest teeth out there, they're designed right. to catch birds in the wild. and. Uh, they're a pleasure to work with. Definitely not an animal you want to handle, but they're visually appealing and they're gorgeous. Absolutely they are. All right, so moving around this corner, we've got chameleons over here. Yeah, this is our chameleon section that we're constantly adding stuff to. We try and keep it as natural as possible. Um, obviously chameleons are rather delicate, so we do spend a lot of time with them. This section here, we have our blood pythons. Um, they're really awesome. Usually burrowing most of the time, but right now they're out behaving, so which is really cool. Um, so those are really awesome. We keep our bigger snakes in these PVC enclosures. They have everything that they need in them. And right now we got our awesome bloods in there. All right, and then moving around to the final aisle here. This is the final aisle here where we have our ball pythons and our boa constrictors. Um, obviously, I used to be a ball python guy, so you gotta have a cool ball python. Absolutely you do. Uh, this is Ahmed. Ahmed? One of the managers right, here. And uh, he's gonna show you guys a super fire boa constrictor. That's a super fire boa constrictor male. I think they call the males emperors and the females princess diamonds. Correct. It's just a really cool boa. You know, we're, we're spoiled in the ball world. We've had Lucy's for, and super fires for many years, but it's relatively new to the boa world. So it's just a really cool animal to highlight and show off here. That is really amazing. That's a beautiful snake. You gotta love just a white snake with yeah. black eyes, whether it's a Texas rat or a ball python or a boa. These are a little cooler than Texas rat snakes, but you know. Yeah. Moving on, we've got a ton of colubrids over here, but not sure. just any colubrids. You have some amazing course, colubrids yeah. over here. I see a yellow-tailed Kribo right here. Yeah, that's awesome. Female yellow-tailed Kribo. They're really cool. One of my favorite species to work with. So the cool thing that I rather like about Kribos is that when you have a black tail or a yellow tail, the colors are reversed. So on a yellow-tailed Kribo, they're dark up front, and they've got that really nice mustard yellow back, and it's exactly the reverse in a black-tailed Kribo. You got the yellow up front and the black in the back. It's kind of like a mullet, you know? Exactly. Kind of business in the front, party, party in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But man, what a great looking snake. 
And if you are interested in this snake, it is only a grand. And then over here, I saw a Spilotes, and yeah. there he is. Definitely. You've got to love the tiger rat snakes. Be the tiger rats. They'll keep you on your toes. They're really, really cool. Long, slender body. Man, I just love how shiny their scales are. And if you look at the snake, they've got a triangle shape to their body. And if you look at any other snake and see that spine sticking out like that, you would think, man, that is a skinny, emaciated snake. But this is how Spilotes look. Man, such an underrated colubrid. All right, so then over here, we've got the frog wall. We've got our tree frogs here, which are awesome. We have uh, burgundy red eyes and albino red eyes and your regular red eyes uh, tree frogs. We always have our Pac-Man frogs, we've got our dart frogs. And what's really cool here is the way we set up our dart frog enclosures and our milk frog enclosures. We try to keep it as natural looking as possible with a bioactive setup with a water feature. And that's something that we love to do here for sure. I, I um, you know, I like to give them the natural setup and I think this is a, a beautiful way to do that. Like and I, I really said earlier, enjoy it. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said earlier, you know, the aesthetics of the cage design is what sets you apart from a lot of other reptile shops. And you know, a lot of people are really getting into the bioactive thing. So we offer the isopods here as well, which is really cool. Um, that way you can go ahead and deck out your enclosure and you know, get your isopods in there. Keep things, you know, just keep things rolling. It's, Fantastic. it's cool, man. It's really great. Moving on, we have the monitors, which are quite impressive, but you don't just have monitors. No. You have a crock down there. We do have a crock down here. And if you want to come down here, we get a little shot in there. Awesome croc monitor. Yeah. This one we've only had here for about a month. We got him around the grand opening, and um, he's really cool. He's really intelligent. Definitely, um, you can tell, constantly thinking. Uh, there's no doubt about it, but he's got the tools on him to, to put a hurting on you, so we definitely handle him with care. I mean, absolutely. you got to be an experienced keeper when it comes to the croc monitors. Right, sure. right. Yeah. But up here, we've got some black... Uh, yes. water monitors man these and bell phase laces oh yeah really are at the top of my list look at that guy he's so inquisitive absolutely we have a pair of them in here that is the girl and to the right is our male when people see a, you know a melanistic water monitor it kind of stops them in their tracks right and uh these guys are great we're looking forward to breeding them that's the cool thing in the stores you know we have animals here that we've paired up in hopes of breeding them and offering the offspring here at the store. All right, and speaking of cool monitors. Yeah, we got Shane here with an awesome blue tail monitor. These guys, they come from where, Indonesia. So these guys are very beautiful. You gotta work with them very well because they can be very flighty. So you just gotta work on the nails since they can mess you up pretty badly. As you can Absolutely. see, she scratched me up pretty well. Once you work with them, they can be very, very great animals. Yeah, A lot like puppy dogs once you get them tame enough. Absolutely. Definitely the similar facial structure and body to the croc monitor, which is cool, but they have this awesome blue tail right here. Can't mistake a blue tail monitor. All right, so, you know, one of the things that sets a really awesome reptile shop apart is the employees that actually know what they're talking about. You didn't just hire warm bodies to fill a no. schedule. Yeah. You guys know your stuff. Thank you. Of course, yeah. I think it's important. It's essential to have the right people here because when you, you know, when you send a reptile home with someone, you need someone that's selling it to you that knows what they're talking about. And everyone here eats, sleeps, breathes reptiles and amphibians. There's no doubt about it. So one of the things that I love about touring reptile shops is there's a lot of really cool stuff out here on the sales floor, but there's really cool stuff in the back room, and that's what we're going to go tour right now. All right, so this is the back of Cold-Blooded Kingdom. Absolutely, yeah. What awesomeness do we have back here? Well, we keep a lot of stuff back here, a lot of our snakes and geckos and whatnot, uh, because, you know, we are an online business as well. And, um, you know, not a lot of reptile shops show off their back room, but back here, it, it was kind of like my old facility. We have a lot of racks and this is where we house a lot of our boas and balls and just a lot of cool stuff back here for sure. Gotta have your pies. Oh, wow, that one's really nice. Of course. Nice and orange. Yeah. Almost looks like it has orange dream. But I was just gonna suggest that. Yeah. Beautiful pies. We've got pies back here. We've got banana combos. 
beautiful banana pastel. Look at that. That is just awesome. And I see you have a GHI het pied there. I just hatched out a bunch of GHI Enchi pieds this year. Awesome. And GHI pieds and GHI Mojave pieds. But man, I really like what GHI does to pied. Absolutely. And you know, it's still very untouched. I think the super GHI pied stuff is going to be really cool. It's going to be out of this sure. world. So some of the really cool colubers we have are, I would have to say, these T-positive Chinese beauties. Oh, yeah. We also have mandarin rat snakes. Ooh, mandarins are awesome. Yeah, Let's really take a look at one of those. You don't see a lot of mandarins. Not at all, but this is a really cute little male baby mandarin uh, rat snake. They're so vibrant. They're so cool looking. Now these are a little bit on the difficult side to keep and breed. How yes. are you faring with them? I'm doing just fine. These are captive bred um, and you know, I didn't hatch them out. So obviously I hadn't have to deal with the initial um, trouble of getting them started. Right. But these ones are doing great. They're feeding phenomenally on uh, pinky mice. We, uh, we have a lot of really cool um, green tree monitors and the blue trees back here. We're waiting for their new enclosures, but for now they're here, they're eating and they're healthy. We have custom enclosures coming from them so we can actually breed in our back room, which is really cool. So I'm looking forward to that coming in shortly. Um, but we also have our yellow tree monitors back yeah, here. Yeah, we definitely got to take a look at the yellows. So this is the Varanus Rasingeri or the, uh, the yellow tree monitor, and of course. And the pooping tree monitor. The pooping tree monitor, like most tree monitors. Yeah, yeah, there you go, right there, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gotta show the poop. Of course, but the colors are so vibrant on those guys, they're awesome. Wow, these guys are amazing. Nice. All right, yeah, I'll just let you clean up there for a little bit. Whoa! There you go. And they are a strip of lightning. Oh yeah. So not only do you have really cool snakes and really cool monitors, you have these. These are awesome. Captive bred Schneider skinks. You just do not see captive bred Sh Schneider skinks. Not at all. Usually you typically get the wild caught ones that come in a lot of the, you know, the Egypt. The right, Egypt. right. Half dead, half sick. Yep, but these are little captive bred guys, so it's pretty cool to offer these at our store. And they're really cool. Super friendly. One of the more underrated skinks for sure. Yeah. Definitely one of the most underrated skinks out there. Yeah, I used to have these years ago and I just loved them. They're awesome. They've got great personalities as well. Got some awesome fat tail geckos oh, too. Oh, look at that. Really cool fat tail geckos. Another underrated lizard. Very I mean, underrated. Very overshadowed by leopard geckos. But these guys are easier to handle than leopard geckos. They're not as spazzy as leopard geckos. And frankly, I like these better than leopard geckos. It's true. They have some really cool colors, especially some of the white out morphs that are coming out. And uh, they're phenomenal. Wow. All right. So this is also one of my favorite geckos. This is a Pictus gecko. Yeah. And this is this one in particular is actually a hypo Pictus gecko. And these are really cool. Another gecko that uh, not a whole lot of people work with. So it's really cool to have these here at the shop. For sure. Awesome. They're cool. Kind of like a like a hybrid of the, the knob tail with a leopard gecko right. in one. Um, Absolutely. There's so many different cool gecko species out there that not a whole lot of people work with. So it's just never ending in the reptile game. You know, there's always something new. And uh, you know, that's why I love them. Absolutely. Well, Josh, you have an incredible store. You are starting out on the right foot. You're doing it right. And you know, next time I'm here in South Florida, I'm gonna have to come back and see Absolutely. how things are progressing at this Definitely, shop because yeah. you know you just opened, you're a yeah. new shop, and so there's gonna be an evolution. There's gonna Absolutely. be you know new animals to see here. But thanks so much for having us out and showing us yeah. not only the really cool animals you got on the storefront, but back here yeah. in the back room as well. That's I wish you pleasure. all the luck with your new shop. Thank you. This is pretty awesome, man. I appreciate it, guys. Definitely. Thank you so much. So guys, I love touring reptile shops, especially new ones like this one, but reptile shops that actually do it right. In Cold-Blooded Kingdom, they do it right. So if you are in the South Florida area and you want to visit this shop, I'm going to put all of their links in the description below. Anyway guys, I want to give a real quick shout out and a special thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. I sincerely appreciate your continued support. And as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession and rattle on.